Hello there, and welcome to Tennessee, the volunteer state, home of country music, delicious barbecue, and places even locals avoid. We're talking about the no-go zones big tourism doesn't want you to see. Tennessee's lovely, but you wouldn't believe what we found. One-star reviews, complaining about parking at a swamp? Join us for a hilarious, unauthorized journey through questionable corners, abandoned amusement parks, surreal attractions, and treacherous wonders. Buckle up, grab some sweet tea, and get ready to laugh or cry. This is 19. No-Go Zones for Tennessee Travelers. A hilarious warning. Kicking off our list, we have a location so baffling, so shrouded in mystery, that it's whispered in hushed tones around flickering campfire flames. The mystery of the missing left sock laundromat, located just off Highway 41. Legend has it, this laundromat is home to a sock devouring entity of unimaginable power. Now, I know what you're thinking, Glenn. That's preposterous. But have you ever lost a sock in the laundry? We all have. At this laundromat, it's always the left sock. Every single time. If you value your footwear, you might want to steer clear. Coming in at number two on our tour of Tennessee's best worst places is a destination so bewildering that you'll swear you've stepped into an off-brand episode of The Twilight Zone. I speak, of course, of the Pigeon Forge Wax Museum of questionable celebrity lookalikes. It looks less like Queen Bay and more like a melted candle. This wax museum boasts an impressive collection of vaguely familiar faces. And at number three, we have Andrew Jackson's Hermitage, a place so terrifying, they named a really uncomfortable bed after the old guy who lived there. Now, I know what you're thinking. Glenn, isn't it a bit harsh to call a former president's home terrifying? And to that I say, have you met Andrew Jackson? This is the man who, and I'm not making this up, once killed a man in a duel for insulting his wife's honor. You don't get the nickname Old Hickory by handing out Werther's originals and compliments. The man was basically America's grumpy grandpa, only instead of yelling at clouds, he yelled at Congress and Native Americans. Speaking of which, let's not forget the Trail of Tears. Jackson's presidency saw the forced removal of thousands of Native Americans from their ancestral lands. So, yeah, maybe skip the audio tour on that one. It's not exactly the kind of lighthearted history lesson you want to subject your kids to, unless, of course, you're looking for a fun family activity to traumatize your children for life, in which case, by all means, take them to the hermitage. Just don't blame me when they start sleeping with nightlights and demanding to know if you've ever dueled anyone to the death. Next up, we have the happiest place in Tennessee. Or is it? Dollywood is not for the faint of heart. It's got all the Dolly Parton charm, butterfly-shaped everything, sequins, and hairspray. But beneath that sparkly veneer lies a dark secret, the rides. Rides like Lightning Rod and Mystery Mine sound like they were plucked from a Stephen King novel. These rides will have you questioning your life choices and the very fabric of reality. And then there's Jolene's Roller Coaster of Regret. Picture this, you're strapped in, heart racing, and suddenly you realize you've made a terrible mistake. As the coaster plummets down, you can almost hear Jolene herself singing, please don't take my sanity just because you can. The twists and turns are so wild, you'll be gripping the safety bar like it's the last piece of fried chicken 
at a family reunion. By the end, you're left dizzy, disoriented, and wondering if you should have just stuck to the teacup ride. So, unless you're a thrill-seeking masochist, steer clear of Dollywood. You've been warned. And rounding out our top five is a destination so mysterious, so shrouded in enigma, that it's known simply as the Lost Sea. Located deep in the bowels of the earth, this massive underground lake is home to a variety of strange and wonderful creatures, by which I mean mostly blind cave fish and the occasional lost GoPro. Now I know what you're thinking, Glenn? An underground lake sounds like a great place to cool off and escape the Tennessee heat. And to that, I say, have you ever seen the Goonies? Because let me tell you, nothing good ever happens in caves. First of all, you have to navigate a labyrinth of narrow, winding tunnels, which, let's be honest, is basically a claustrophobe's worst nightmare. Then, you have to contend with the bats. Oh yes, the bats. Thousands of them just hanging out, waiting to poop on your head. But hey, at least it's not as bad as Dollywood, right? I mean, at least there are no cues in a giant, terrifying cave. Number six on our list of places to avoid in Tennessee might seem whimsical, but trust me, it's far more sinister than it sounds. Nestled in Chattanooga lies the legendary Lost Sock Factory. Legend has it, this warehouse is the final resting place for every single sock that's gone missing. We're talking mountains of orphan socks, enough to stretch to the moon and back. The factory is rumored to be guarded by the fearsome Lint Goblin. For the sake of your sanity and your sock drawer, steer clear. Ah, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, home to Dollywood, countless dinner theaters, and more flashing neon lights than a drunk Vegas electrician could handle. It's also home to number seven on our list of places to avoid, the Tilt-A-Whirl Time Warp. Now, you might be picturing some sort of whimsical carnival ride, but let me assure you, this is far more terrifying than a few spins on a teacup. See. Legend has it that sometime in the late 1980s, a rogue tilt-a-whirl malfunctioned, opening a rift in the space-time continuum. The result? Anyone who dares ride this particular tilt-a-whirl risks being flung not only into a dizzying spiral of nausea and regret, but also backward or forward in time. I'm talking about potentially coming face-to-face -face with dinosaurs, or, God forbid, the cast of the Jersey Shore in the year 3000. So, next time you find yourself in Pigeon Forge, tempted by the siren song of flashing lights and the smell of deep fried everything, remember this. Some things are best left unexperienced. Number eight on our list of places to avoid in Tennessee takes us high into the Great Smoky Mountains, where the air is thin, the views are breathtaking, and something smells faintly of patchouli and despair. Welcome, my friends, to the Great Smoky Mountain Goat Yoga Retreat. Now, look, I'm all for communing with nature. I even dabbled in hot yoga once, until I realized I was essentially paying someone to recreate the experience of being trapped in a car with a wet dog on a summer day. But goat yoga? That's a whole other level of nope. Apparently, the idea is that having goats clamber all over you while you attempt to achieve inner peace is supposed to be therapeutic. But let's be honest, the only thing those goats are going to achieve is giving you a complex about your flexibility and possibly eating your yoga pants. And don't even get me started 
on the hygiene situation, trust me, you do not want to be on the receiving end of a downward facing goat. So do yourself a favor, skip the goat yoga and enjoy the Smoky Mountains the way God intended from a safe distance, preferably with a strong pair of binoculars. Right, number nine. Strap in, folks, because we're headed to Ruby Falls. Now, I know what you're thinking. Glenn, waterfalls, those are pretty majestic. What's the issue? And you'd be right. Normally, majestic is usually the word that springs to mind, unless we're talking about a waterfall crammed inside a cave. It's like Mother Nature looked at a game of Tetris and thought, I can do better. Look at these people. They look like they wandered onto the set of Honey, I Shrunk the Tourists, and don't even get me started on the humidity. You'll walk out of there looking like you just wrestled a sprinkler and lost. Honestly, if you're that desperate for subterranean thrills, just stay home and reorganize your sock drawer. At least there you can control the dripping. Next up on our Tennessee travelogue of terror, the Lost Sea. This, my friends, is America's largest underground lake. And I use the term lake very loosely. It's more like they found a puddle the size of a small country and decided to charge people to look at it. Look, I get it, we all love a good mystery, but there's a reason this body of water is called Lost. It's lost because even the fish are trying to escape. Seriously, if you fall in, don't bother swimming up. You'll hit the bottom of a gift shop in Alabama. And speaking of things best left undiscovered, rumor has it that the lake is home to a species of giant albino catfish with a taste for khaki shorts and sensible footwear. So, if you value your ankles and your fashion sense, best steer clear. Coming in at number 11, it's the Gatlinburg Space Needle. You know, that towering monument to, well, we're not quite sure. Look, I've been to Gatlinburg, and let me tell you, the last thing that town needs is another way to observe its own sprawling neon-soaked glory. It's like staring into the abyss, but the abyss is selling discount fudge and airbrush t-shirts. Plus, have you ever actually ridden in one of those things? It's basically a giant clothes dryer that slowly rotates to give you a panoramic view of every Waffle House within a 50 mile radius. And don't even get me started on the glass. They haven't cleaned it since Dolly Parton was a teenager. Honestly, you'd get a better view from a drone you bought at the Dollar General down the street. Next up, we have McKaysville, Tennessee, a town so lost in time, some say it's actually a vortex to the 1980s. Seriously, folks, the cell phone reception there is about as reliable as a politician's promise. Legend has it that McKaysville was once the site of a top secret government experiment involving discount Halloween candy and off-brand soda. The experiment went horribly wrong, creating a temporal anomaly that can only be described as, well, imagine if a Dollar General exploded inside a time machine. The locals, bless their polyester blend socks, are convinced that the government is still monitoring them, possibly from within the aisles of the town's sole remaining grocery store. They communicate solely through a series of knowing glances and cryptic whispers about the incident. So, unless you're looking to star in your own low-budget sci-fi thriller, I'd suggest avoiding McKaysville. You know, unless you need to stock up on off-brand hairspray and tang. Now, 
I know what you're thinking. Glenn, you're a patriotic American. What could you possibly have against a good old-fashioned dinner theater experience with horses? And to that I say, yes, I am, but... Have you ever actually been to one of these things? It's my patriotic duty to tell you what's up. Listen, y'all, it's like a fever dream you get after eating a whole bucket of fried chicken. There's singing, there's dancing, there's horses doing things that horses probably shouldn't be doing. It's a lot to process, especially on a stomach full of lukewarm gravy and questionable meat product. To avoid the sensory overload that is the Dollywood Stampede, I recommend a rather unconventional mode of transport, a catapult. Yes, you heard me right, a catapult. Just strap yourself in, point it in the opposite direction, and launch yourself into the great unknown. It's either that or risk being trampled by a rogue Clydesdale while a man in a sequined vest belts out a patriotic ballad. Your call. Ah, uh, Sewanee, Tennessee, home to the prestigious Sewanee, the University of the South, a place where the air is thick with the smell of intellectualism and, unfortunately, also just thick with humidity, like a lot of humidity. You see, folks, Sewanee in the summer is like a sauna that decided to get a PhD in Southern Gothic literature. It's beautiful, sure, with its rolling hills and historic buildings, but it's also hotter than a jalapeno eating contest in a greenhouse. We're talking the kind of heat that makes you question the very fabric of reality, the kind of heat that could melt asphalt or your willpower to do anything other than lie very, very still in the shade. So unless you're particularly fond of sweating through your clothes faster than you can say Tennessee Williams, I'd suggest visiting Sewanee during a slightly less molten time of year. Or, you know, just bring a personal air conditioner. And coming in at number 15 on our list of places to avoid in Tennessee, we have a location so mysterious, so shrouded in enigma, that it doesn't even have a real name. I'm talking, of course, about what locals call the lost sock dimension of the Great Smoky Mountains. This isn't just a sock monster or a mischievous dryer. This is a full-blown vortex of forgotten hosiery. No one who's ever ventured into the lost sock dimension has ever returned wearing matching socks. So, if you think you're adventurous enough, I dare you to wear mismatched socks. Number 16, folks, takes us straight into the belly of the beast, or rather, the feathers of the bird. Yes, we're talking about Pigeon Forge's Pigeon Forge. It's like they named it twice just to really hammer home the point that there are, in fact, pigeons in this forge. Now, you might be thinking, Glenn, what's so bad about pigeons? They're just rats with wings, and you wouldn't be entirely wrong, but the pigeons in Pigeon Forge's Pigeon Forge? They're not your average, run-of-the-mill, ooh, shiny, penny pigeons. Oh no, these feathered fiends have evolved. They've adapted to their tourist-infested surroundings and developed a taste for funnel cake, a penchant for line dancing, and an uncanny ability to snatch fanny packs with unnerving precision. Don't believe me? Fine, go ahead, visit Pigeon Forge's Pigeon Forge, but don't come crying to me when you're down a funnel cake and a fanny pack full of brochures for discount Dolly Parton wigs. You've been warned. Hold on to your monocles and bust out your pocket watches. We're taking a trip to Bell Buckle, Tennessee. This isn't some idyllic Norman Rockwell painting. No, this is the Bell Buckle Time Warp. Imagine a place where the internet goes to die, and the height of technology is a rotary phone. It's like stepping into a Twilight Zone episode. All you hear is the incessant chirping of crickets, 
I suggest you steer clear of the bell buckle time warp. You've been warned. And then there's Pigeon Forge. Look, Pigeon Forge is already pushing it in terms of good taste. It's like a fever dream you might have after eating a gas station churro. But even by those standards, the annual Raccoon Rodeo is a spectacle best avoided. Now, I'm sure the organizers will tell you it's all in good fun, that the raccoons are treated humanely, blah, blah, blah. But let's be honest, forcing raccoons to ride a mechanical bull for the amusement of tourists is about as dignified as, well, most things in Pigeon Forge. The whole thing is just a recipe for disaster. You've got terrified raccoons, drunken tourists, and enough deep fried food to clog the arteries of a blue whale. Trust me, you're better off spending your evening elsewhere. May I suggest a nice relaxing evening watching paint dry? It's significantly less likely to end in a rabies shot. Rounding out our list at number 19, we have the majestic Buttermilk Falls. Now, you won't find these falls on any credible map, and that's because they don't exist. Yes, you heard that right. Buttermilk Falls is a figment of someone's overactive imagination, possibly fueled by one too many moonshine cocktails. Look, I appreciate a good prank as much as the next guy, but this is just cruel. Luring unsuspecting tourists into the wilderness with the promise of cascading buttermilk is just mean-spirited. Plus, think of the disappointment when they arrive, sweaty and mosquito-bitten, only to find a dry creek bed and a family of squirrels judging their life choices. So, a word to the wise, if you're ever in Tennessee and someone starts raving about the breathtaking beauty of Buttermilk Falls. Just smile politely and back away slowly. You'll thank me later. So there you have it, folks. 19 places in Tennessee that you can confidently cross off your travel bucket list from haunted doll museums to raccoon rodeos, we've covered it all. Now, before you all start packing your bags for a trip to Dollywood, a word of caution. This list was made with tongue, firmly in cheek. While some of these places might not be everyone's cup of sweet tea, Tennessee has a lot to offer. Just remember to travel smart, stay safe, and most importantly, avoid places where raccoons wear tiny cowboy hats. You can't say you weren't warned. As for me, I'll be right here in my studio, safely ensconced in a fortress of common sense and probably surrounded by empty takeout containers. But hey, at least I'm not at a raccoon rodeo.